do you want me to just say I told you so or are you willing to say Stephen A you did tell us? Really? The Euro League is reportedly ready to make a massive offer to lure Caitlin Clark overseas, potentially leaving the WNBA without one of its brightest stars. This lucrative deal could convince her to bypass the WNBA for international play. No, the league is toxic. Many of the players are toxic. This might be Caitlin Clark's chance to escape the toxic WNBA environment and catch a well-deserved break. After constant comparisons to Angel Reese and even criticism from veteran players, now could be the perfect time to move overseas and prove who the real MVP truly is. Because actually, <laughs> if you think about it, like, could Angel be, this is a question, right? Get us at, at us in the comments. Could Angel be for Reebok what Jordan was for Nike? Despite boosting player wages across the league, some remain unsatisfied. Meanwhile, Angel Reese was seen bragging on a live stream, convinced that she's the real star player. And keep hanging out when I do that. Hey and pays them bills, baby. I just hope y'all know the WNBA don't pay my bills at all. I don't even think that pays one of my bills. <laughs> Literally, I'm trying to think of like my rent for where I stay. Players have grown accustomed to the Caitlin Clark effect, but she could head to Europe, earning 10 times her WNBA salary and enjoying better treatment from the league there. As the EuroLeague prepares to offer Caitlin Clark a record-breaking transfer deal, the basketball world is abuzz with speculation. A rising star who has dominated in the WNBA, Clark could soon become one of the highest paid players both domestically and internationally. This potential move underscores her immense talent and highlights the stark difference between her treatment in the WNBA and the recognition she's receiving overseas. This transfer could be a defining moment in Clark's career, marking her shift to a league that fully values her contributions. Despite boosting WNBA viewership and breaking attendance records, she hasn't always been given the respect she deserves. Moving to Europe could allow her to thrive in a more supportive environment that acknowledges her true worth as a global basketball icon. Cheryl swoops all y'all other haters out there, and I'm gonna call you out, man, because it's blatantly obvious why you're hating on the young lady. The news of Caitlin Clark potentially securing a massive overseas salary has sparked jealousy and frustration among her WNBA peers. Many players, already battling for contracts that fall short compared to male athletes, are disheartened by the idea that Clark, still early in her career, could soon earn 10 times more in the EuroLeague. This has created a sense of unease within the league, highlighting the disparity in pay and the growing concern over how international opportunities may lure away top talent like Clark. This is all because they hate this little white girl and now they hate Christine Brennan, who is an ally to the WNBA and all these female athletes and has been for nearly 40 years. Now she's in the crosshairs because she didn't pander hard enough to Honey Dijon A. Carrington. There's increasing concern that Caitlin Clark might leave the WNBA, leaving her teammates to continue fighting for smaller salaries while she enjoys financial security overseas. This has caused tension within the league. Some fear her departure would weaken the WNBA, while others respect her choice to pursue better opportunities. After all, why should Clark, a top talent, settle for less when she could earn so much more abroad and finally get the recognition she deserves? It's an intangible thing, right? Yes, we can say she's a dog. Okay, there's been other dogs. Okay, she's a great shooter. There's been other great shooters. Mm -hmm. She has it. She's got the thing. We can't assign it. Initially, Caitlin Clark had expressed her intention to take a break from basketball after her rookie season in the WNBA, citing the need for rest and recovery following a grueling year. She made it clear that she had no plans to play abroad during this break, leading fans and teammates to believe she would spend time away from the game altogether. However, recent developments suggest that Clark may have had a change of heart. Rumors are now circulating that she's considering playing in Europe, with the EuroLeague emerging as a top option for her next career move. What caused this shift? Many speculate that the way she has been treated in the WNBA, both on and off the court, may have influenced her decision to explore opportunities overseas. The potential for greater financial reward and a more supportive environment abroad could be tempting Clark to reconsider her original plans. 
What's your perspective on this narrative that players of the WNBA are hating on Caitlin Clark? It's a false narrative, Cheney, and I don't think there's any jealousy or pettiness that is fueling dirty play. Now, is the attention she's getting on the defensive end unprecedented for a rookie? It absolutely is. Caitlin Clark's potential move from the WNBA to Europe would mark a major turning point in her career, signaling a desire for a fresh start. After a season filled with triumphs and challenges, this could be her chance to reset, explore new opportunities, and showcase her skills on an international stage. However, this decision goes beyond basketball. It's about finding a place where she feels valued and respected, something she hasn't consistently experienced during her time in the WNBA. This draft class, uh, what was it, 2024, led by Caitlin Clark, it's going to be one. It's going to be one. They, they're going to remember this. Oh, yeah. And uh, these salaries, these women salaries. It's going to, go up. It's going to continue to go up. Yep. Despite her significant contributions to the WNBA, Caitlin Clark hasn't always received the respect she deserves. As the league's biggest draw, she has generated record viewership and filled stadiums, but often finds herself at the center of conflict with teammates and opponents alike. A notable incident occurred when an opposing player struck her in the face during a game, leaving her with a black eye and highlighting the challenges she faces. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. You poked me in the eye. The situation worsened when Caitlin Clark's teammate, Nalissa Smith, responded poorly to the incident. Instead of supporting Clark, Smith laughed off the event and even joked with the player who injured her. This player happened to be Smith's girlfriend, further complicating the team dynamics. For Caitlin, this betrayal likely felt like a slap in the face, emphasizing the toxic environment she was navigating. Nalissa had the opportunity to stand up for Clark and call out her girlfriend's behavior, but instead, she chose to prioritize her relationship, leaving Clark feeling unsupported and isolated. People are sitting there like, well, hold on, man, this woman is booed up with the girl that poked Caitlin Clark in the eye. They're making videos, making fun of Caitlin Clark in the eye poke. What is the Indiana fever doing? Despite facing numerous challenges, Caitlin Clark consistently rose to the occasion, showcasing stellar performances on the court that defied the negativity surrounding her. Yet the emotional toll of navigating disrespect from both teammates and the league must have weighed heavily on her. This reality might explain why the prospect of leaving the WNBA for a fresh start in Europe has become increasingly appealing to her. There's no denying Caitlin Clark's significant impact during her rookie season in the WNBA. As the league's biggest draw, she consistently generated record viewership and filled arenas wherever she played. Notably, her team, the Indiana Fever, broke attendance records, achieving the highest attendance ever recorded in WNBA history. Clark possesses a unique presence that captivates fans, whether through her remarkable shooting skills or her unwavering determination on the court. Her games draw large crowds, and her jersey sales have skyrocketed, establishing her as one of the most recognizable figures in women's sports. For the WNBA, Caitlin Clark has been a marketing dream come true. Yet, despite her immense contributions, the league has failed to provide her with adequate protection against players who seem to have their own agendas, leaving her to navigate these challenges largely on her own. With Caitlyn comes millions and millions and millions of more eyeballs. And with those millions and millions and millions of more eyeballs, unfortunately, is going to come some people who are not nice. Despite all her contributions to the WNBA, Caitlin Clark has not always received the respect and support she deserves. Rather than rallying around her, the league has often let negativity and jealousy overshadow its appreciation for its star player. This lack of backing has only intensified rumors about her potential move to Europe, where she may finally find the recognition and respect that has been sorely lacking during her time in the WNBA. Caitlin Clark is the biggest star in American sport, and I stand by it because she's the only one, the only one capable of taking nothing and making it something. The WNBA was nothing before Caitlin Clark, and she has made it into something. Caitlin Clark has undoubtedly emerged as the shining star of the WNBA this year, 
Yet, instead of receiving the recognition she deserves, she has faced an astonishing lack of support from the League and its players. This becomes particularly evident when considering the unwelcoming treatment she has received from both teammates and opponents. Entering the WNBA as a rookie brimming with promise, Caitlin should have been celebrated for her extraordinary talent. Instead, she encountered opposition at almost every turn. Her stellar performances, which should have made her a unanimous choice for Rookie of the Year, were subjected to unfair scrutiny. Ultimately, she failed to win the award unanimously, with many believing that personal biases influenced the decision rather than a fair evaluation of her impressive basketball skills. This persistent lack of acknowledgement only intensifies the frustrations surrounding her potential move to Europe, where she may finally find the appreciation she has long sought. Caitlin Clark was only one vote away from winning it unanimously, the Rookie of the Year Award. Congrats on winning the Rookie of the Year Award, but how is it not unanimous? I get that people don't like her, you know, whatever the case may be, but honestly, she led rookies in every category pretty much. She took her team to the playoffs for the first time in like 10 years. She was the first ever rookie to get a triple-double, more than once. She's sixth all time. The animosity Caitlin Clark has faced from fellow players and even her own team appears to stem from jealousy over her success. Some may feel threatened by the immense attention she has garnered, yet that attention is well earned. Caitlin isn't just any player. She is arguably the biggest name in women's basketball today. Her unparalleled skill, determination, and ability to attract massive crowds have significantly transformed the league. Despite this, she has had to shoulder the weight of the WNBA while navigating disrespect from those around her, highlighting the challenges she continues to face in her career. You're not entirely accurate with what you just said. What we said was there was noise out there. When we pointed that out, we said why? What was the necessity for it? Because a rising tide lifts all boats. It's evident that the WNBA has not done enough to protect its rising star. Rather than fostering a support system around Caitlin Clark, the league has allowed jealousy and animosity to fester among players. This failure not only harms Caitlin, but also tarnishes the WNBA's reputation, particularly among fans who are beginning to question why the league hasn't shown more appreciation for its most valuable player. The EuroLeague's interest in Caitlin underscores their recognition of her value far more than her own home league does. If the transfer materializes, Caitlin could secure a contract in Europe that significantly eclipses her current WNBA salary. Reports suggest that her EuroLeague deal could be worth up to 10 times what her WNBA counterparts earn. For many WNBA players grappling with smaller contracts and diminished recognition, this potential opportunity only deepens the jealousy and frustration they already feel toward Caitlin, highlighting the stark disparities within the league. You don't even... <laughs> Yo, I'm living beyond my means. <laughs> it's like, um, no, my rent is more than that. It's eight thousand. <laughs> I'm living beyond my means, like y'all think. But the reality is that this is exactly what Caitlin Clark deserves. She has worked tirelessly to elevate women's basketball, and if the WNBA isn't going to give her the respect and financial reward that she has earned, then it makes perfect sense for her to seek out opportunities elsewhere. The EuroLeague seems to be offering Caitlin not only the financial security she deserves, but also the chance to continue growing as a player without the toxic atmosphere she has experienced in the WNBA. You were literally the best player in right. in this, you know. Right. This, I, because I think you I think you can be the the best player and not and not be the most dominant. Yeah. yeah. And the reason why I say that is because I don't have it in front of me, but like I wasn't the leading scorer. By allowing this kind of deal to even be a possibility, the WNBA is essentially admitting that they haven't treated her well enough to keep her. If the league had built a better relationship with Caitlin, one that was based on mutual respect and recognition for her talents, it's likely that she wouldn't even be considering a move to Europe. But because the WNBA has allowed jealousy and rivalry to get in the way, Caitlin is now on the verge of leaving the league behind entirely. 
The EuroLeague, on the other hand, seems eager to capitalize on the WNBA's mistakes. They know that Caitlin Clark is a game changer, and they are prepared to offer her a deal that reflects her true worth. This is a major win for Caitlin, but it's also a significant loss for the WNBA, which may soon find itself without its biggest star. At, at the end of the day, we were making the point, do you want to promote the league or not? And people like Andrea and others were resistant to that playing a role in somebody making the roster for Team USA. And we were saying, hell with that. You want to promote the sport. You put that girl up in there, and people were appalled at that notion. Well, that was Stephen the a, subject. Me... Caitlin's fan base isn't just large, it's incredibly dedicated. People don't just watch her play, they invest emotionally in her success. It's been created because of the resilience she has shown throughout her career, especially in her rookie season in the WNBA, where she faced numerous challenges. Her fans feel connected to her story, and they've seen how hard she's worked to overcome every obstacle in her path. So what happens if Caitlyn does decide to leave the WNBA and head to Europe? Her fans are going with her. They're loyal to her as an individual, and they believe she deserves the best possible treatment, regardless of the league she plays in. If that means following her across the world to support her in a new chapter of her career, they'll do it without a second thought. Caitlin Clark's the most valuable, most important person in the WNBA this year and should have been unanimous Rookie of the Year. Caitlin Clark's move to the EuroLeague could be a groundbreaking moment in women's basketball, marking a shift in the power dynamics between international leagues and the WNBA. As the EuroLeague prepares to offer her a record-breaking contract, it highlights how much Clark's value has grown on the global stage. The EuroLeague, by offering such a lucrative contract, is showing that they understand Caitlin Clark's worth, which will sit well with CC fans, as finally a league will see her for what she is. A basketball phenom, a generational talent. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. More videos are on screen now.